Uh, before that, Your Honor, and I think I mentioned this the last time we talked, um, I have a, uh, the oldest case in Lexington County, civil case, um, is, involves the death of five children killed by their father who sent them to death for it. We sued the Department of Social Services eight years ago, and finally on a trial docket, I, I've meant this is something I mentioned. It's on a trial docket for whom? Um, motions on the 14th of October, trial on uh, October, and I have a, a uh, email here from Judge McCadlin who's trying a, a trial on um, Motions heard on October 13th, trial off for October, October 30th. And it's at least a two week or three week trial. Mr. Griffin had an additional conflict in Texas in a federal trial for day, October 30th, October 30th that week. That week. Um, so uh, I guess uh, this is September. Um, it looks like most of October is going to be involved either getting ready for or trying that case wouldn't be done until uh, uh, early in November. Um, and, Your Honor, you know, it's going to take some time to get ready for these cases. But, but more importantly, maybe this is the, 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 uh, the, the toughest thing I have to say, and that is this. This case was tried, finished, six months ago. It clearly, I don't think anyone in the scheme has had more publicity than any case in the history of this state, and maybe the country. On national television every day for six weeks, the motions um, are, uh, motions hearings were covered, and they're here again today. Um, it has been podcasted, blogged, uh, you know, we've got podcasters out there um, who are, are ripping their 15 minutes, and hanging by their fingernails, wanting more of their 15 minutes of fame and continue to talk about this. I understand one of the solutions to um, massive pre-trial publicity is a change of venue. There are two cases I want to cite to the court, um, both of the United States Supreme Court cases. Um, Murphy versus Florida um, um, and um, the, 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 the cited, I'm sorry, in Shepard versus Maxwell. There are two kinds of pretrial publicity that, that, that would indicate a continuance and or a change of venue required. Um, prejudice is presumed from pretrial publicity when pretrial publicity is sufficiently prejudicial and inflammatory and the prejudicial pretrial publicity saturated the community where the trials are held. They found presumed pretrial publicity in a case much less renowned, um, much less publicized than this one. Uh, and Your Honor, uh, to try to try this case in less than a year after the verdict came in, in the other case, don't we need to let it calm down a little bit? Where are you going to get a jury? Mars? I mean, there's nowhere in this case. Allendale, Orangeburg, Beaufort, Colleton, Hampton. I appreciate your sense of humor. It's not a sense of humor. We have many uh, counties where these indictments were issued, I am not presuming that a jury cannot be impaneled, uh, just as the trial that took place on Colleton County, there was no motion to change venue. Uh, I, and I'm not presuming any prejudice, uh, and the test is not um, based on speculation. The test is whether or not a jury can be impaneled. You first have to attempt to get a jury, according to the law. What I'm saying is, I think it's being exercised in utility. I know this. We've been interviewing jurors, as you know, uh, in, the, in the murder trial. Uh, there was a juror who, 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 on that jury who had been excused, been on the jury, uh, panel was in the previous year and told other jurors, I want on this trial, I want on this trial. And that, I'm afraid, is what happened on that jury. We got a motion for a new trial for after discovered evidence. Um, the court of, uh, the Attorney General is going to file their response tomorrow. We believe the court of appeal will order a jury um, before a circuit court judge um, to determine whether or not uh, the court of court tampered with that jury. 
And that is very, and, and so we would go forward with another trial while that matter is pending, while that matter is being litigated? Probably not in Colorado County. Well, Your Honor, the, the idea that somehow something happens in Colorado County doesn't affect what happens in Buford County. But, I mean, this is a national case. I mean, do they not have television in Allendale County? I don't know. Do they know. not have the Internet? I don't know. But what's, the, and what's the hurry? That's the other point. What is the hurry? He's pleading in federal court next Thursday. Every allegation the state has made. The victims will have their day in court. We plead, you know, we plead, uh, Mr. Murdoch, he plead guilty to the state charge, but the state insists on doing them in serial so they get three convictions so they can get life without parole. By the guy who's already serving two life sentences without parole. This is just another attempt to get more publicity, to, to, to make this another national case. And, I, Your Honor, I'm offended. Uh, with the, that the Attorney General is waiting. He's got many other cases that are much older than this, but get granted, court TV won't be there for them. This is another effort at creating a national spectacle. Now, Your Honor has some things to say about Mr. Murdoch as sentencing. You obviously believe he's guilty of that. You obviously think the jury found him guilty of that. But I would ask you, to put those feelings aside and give us a chance to litigate this jury tampering issue, to allow Mr. Griffin and I to have time, if there is going to be a trial on these, prepare for those trials, which we won't with our calendar uh, for the fall. And third thing is why doesn't the Attorney General put some distance between the conviction in the murder case and the trial, if there has to be a trial, on the, uh, on the, uh, the uh, financial financial cases. I, 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 I'm, as you know, as a prosecutor, I'm bewildered by this. I, I'm certainly they can do it, but why? Why? What is the hurry? Investigated by the state grand jury, which is a partnership with the AG and SLED. And these particular the Satterfield indictments were indicted in November of 2021, uh, just about two months after the side of the road happened. Uh, this is about allegations that represent an assault on the state judiciary. And because of that, they need to be answered. Your Honor is exactly correct that the law does not presume prejudice. If he wants to file a motion where he cites law, I mean, then we can respond. But the law is very clear. It's that you don't presume prejudice. You try to seat a jury. And only through that process can the court then assess whether or not a jury can be seated. We are in 2023. The reality of the media environment is what it is. And unless we're going to say the judicial system just can't function because of publicity, that just leaves nothing left to happen. This is just the reality that we live in. And so we depend on the ability of the system, we depend on the ability of the jury selection process to seek jurors. And that is what should happen. And only if there is an inability to do so can uh, this court then consider whether or not there needs to be some change of media or some relief or something like that. That is exactly what the process should be. And this is a big county, this is Buford County, and fundamentally, just as we rely on lawyers, just as we rely on judges, uh, to be objective about what they do, and that includes the defense motion here. Okay? We have an objective duty. We also depend, the system depends on jurors to be objective as well. And to just say, because there's publicity, nothing can be done, just throws the system out and leaves no recourse whatsoever. And what the defense can't do is try to essentially run down the street to the federal authorities and bypass the accountability that needs to happen in state court for a direct assault through use of a state law license on this courtroom, Your Honor, on the other courtrooms or the other counties that I named. The state judiciary needs, the state judicial system needs to answer for this very, the allegations of this assault. And that's why this is important. That's why this case has priority. And that's why the state seeks to move it forward. Briefly, Your Honor. Yes, sir. 
Well, this wasn't his argument a year ago when he called the murder case first. The murder case was indicted after the uh, financial crimes, and it wasn't that important then. Now, all of a sudden, it's, you know, the most important thing in the world. Um, I, would, I would suggest, Your Honor, that he made a decision to try the murder case first, not the financial crimes, and as a result, we're we been put in the position, you know, of where we're at today. In addition to that, I would state for the record, I want this clear, based on our, that is, Mr. Griffin and my trial schedules in other cases between now and the end of the year, we would be ineffective in preparing for this trial, any trial. Your Honor, uh, that is absolutely not what happened. Uh, I even said I was happy to try, try the white collar cases first. It was the defense's motion for a speedy trial, and Mr. Harpoolian's waiver of his legislative immunity was what led to the murder cases being done before. It was the defense that wanted to try the murder case. They filed a motion for speedy trial, and the state said, okay, let's do it. He so was decided to agree with that, Your Honor. It was up to him. He called, he called the case today. The solicitor calls the case. The prosecutor. We don't call the case. It was his decision. He decided to go with the murder case first. Your Honor, the state is happy to show up in court and seek justice for these very important matters whenever a date can be scheduled. And the only reason the murder went first was because of Mr. Harper. Of course, I'm not going to defer it to Texas and say on a trial date. And a trial date will be set prior to the end of this year. You all have a choice of either the week of November 13th, November 27th, And there's an Allendale term scheduled. <clears throat> or December 11th. <clears throat> you will have a choice of either of those three weeks to try whatever case is pending in those individual venues. Your Honor, could we confer and email you today on what our preferences are? No, we, we can confer and resolve it this morning while we maybe move on to the next matters. We have I'm, I'm other matters. to coordinate with other existing terms of courts in the various uh, places. Uh, I do believe that 
Uh, it makes the most sense to do that one first just because of uh, the way this case is developed. Uh, and so the state um, would seek to call that one for Beaufort County. Well, let's see. Seventh is a general sessions terms scheduled here in Beaufort County. For the twenty seventh. Yes. That works for the state, yes, sir. Obviously, I need to uh, coordinate with the solicitor's office as well. Um, well, we'll take care of whatever coordination is necessary, unless there's a death penalty case scheduled that week. Thank you. All right, so the case is set for trial on November 27th. That's the side field, okay, correct? Um, is that the matter you're seeking, the side of field trial? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Of course, the relevance. 2021 GS 47-30. that might be filed. Seven. 
if you would put all of that in order and circulate it for, to council for any comment, and I'll sign a written order addressing all of the, what we've just discussed. No, any, anything else we need to talk about in this case? I hate to ride. I said in this case. No, you're not in, you're not in this case, are you? Yes, Your Honor. Well, we're, we're coming to you next. I know. I'm just charged with him in the other case. You're charged with what? I'm, my client is charged jointly with Mr. Murdoch and three other people. Right, well, not this case. Well, he's indicated he's calling the State v. Murdoch. Uh, State v. not Murdoch. Yeah, State v. Murdoch in the Satterfield case. Unless you want to voluntarily join in. <laughs> I do, Your Honor, I do not. We don't voluntarily join in anything. All right, well. <laughs> Your Honor, I apologize for the mortgage. Just have to say it. <laughs> All right, well, I thank you all very much. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor.